Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 41 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to fetch the course data on our front page. Okay, this is our latest course section. Here we will fetch the data and uh, similarly we will fetch all of the courses here. Okay, we are not going to apply any pagination but we are just fetching the course. Then later we will see that how we can apply the pagination without reloading the page it means with the react.js okay so let's start to fetching the data so first of all we will fetch the data on the latest course page okay so i have opened the uh, i have opened the component this is all course js component and here we will fetch the data okay so as you know that we have already fetching the data in our all courses uh, let's say uh, teacher courses chapter so here we have a teacher courses and we need use state axios and base ul so i'll copy these three things from here to in this component okay and now we will create this we will get, uh, send the request to the server and fetch the data okay so here we have a teacher courses and uh, in this use effect in this use effect let's say copy all of the thing and paste it here okay and instead of fetching the data according to teacher we will fetch all the data okay so course data course data and here we will say simply course okay and we don't need to provide any teacher id okay so here we are now let's see our uh, api so we, we have a, a api and uh, when we have main urls so here you can see that we have a course list view okay so let's see the view and here we are course list and let's see the course list and here you can see that okay so course list and uh, we are fetching this so what kind of thing is this uh, if result in this course id okay 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 okay, okay. so uh, we are fetching this uh, actually I am passing this result here suppose we need only four data here so how we will do that so that from here we will pass the result query parameter we will see that let's first fetch all of the things in our all courses okay so by default it will run this okay we will see that why we have applied this and how this will work so course list is associated with this URL okay and we can call this URL from our all courses here you can see that okay now let's see uh, i'll just okay let's see the response in our uh, network tab here and we will refresh the page here and here you can see that we have api course and if i'll go to the response you can see that we have eight responses okay now we will just run the map here we are the here, here at the loop so this is our uh, row and this is our data so we just need to remove all of the things okay so just remove the things here we are okay now we will run the loop here not here here so we will run the loop so what we will what it will be course data and course data dot map and in this map we will run this thing okay and this will be end here okay and in this map the first thing is our data that will be course and the second one is index okay and in the from the course we will fetch the title first so single bracket dot title let's see here can you see that now here you can see that django full course django and the title has been changed and we are now fetching the data now in here what we will do just simply say course featured image this thing yes okay and in the alt we can say course title so if image is not 
if image is not exist we can simply show the title okay <coughs> now uh, what other things are required okay when we will uh, create the detail then we will see that how we can uh, how uh, what things we need to pass here to uh, show the detail okay or we can simply say we can do one thing we can just pass here uh, let's say detail slash dollar and here we will pass the id course id right so you can see that now the data has been here you can see that can you see the url okay so course id in the image right and now we will pass here in the link also okay so how this is easy this is easy because we have implemented this already in our teacher course chapter okay but if you are implementing this first time then please read about the use state use effect okay so use this state is uh, saving the data and react when our state change so what is the meaning of state state means when uh, we change the data uh, when uh, when we reload the page so th these are the states okay so uh, so that it is known as react because it it uh, whatever whenever the state change it react accordingly okay and the the main purpose of this use effect is to uh, whenever our state has been changed then this use effect function will call okay so when we reload the when we reload the page okay or when we load the page then this use effect called and in the use effect we are fetching the data with the axios http client okay so i hope you un you have understand all of the things okay similarly we can apply this for home i am going to apply but i will say you that please apply this okay you can uh, you can just uh, access the repository of course uh, uh, with the small donation uh, you can just uh, send me your email id after the small donation and i'll give you the access to the repository okay so you can access that okay so here we have a let me show you so here you can see that we have a code artisan lab and in this i have uh, defined all of the things okay so that you can easily uh, access the code okay just uh, support me by a small donation you can also follow me here okay so let's apply this on our home page okay so the for the home page the same thing will work we need to copy this three, three three things let me show you here okay and this will be copied here from here okay and here we will pass result so result equal to 4 okay let me show you so result is this and we are we are just fetching 4 okay so this is just for the just for the just for the indication that we want a specific result okay so set course data and now let's copy this thing this course data i'll copy this okay and paste it here so this will be okay let me see this again one more time home page so home page and we will paste it here and we will remove others right and in the next in the next chapter in the next uh, video what we will do we will fetch now you can see that can you see that now it is fetching only four data okay because we have defined that now one thing i want to change here actually we are passing the data four okay now uh, what i will do here i'll just uh, say the limit equal to request dot get and let's say uh, result and this will be self and limit equal to here right so if i something is issue let's see the issue 
so here it is the 500 l and let's say not supported in sense of str and int so what i will do here i will simply say int right and this is the int now so let's see this now you can see that now everything is working fine and uh, every data is fetching okay so in the next video what i will do i will uh, uh, i will try to implement the pagination okay i will try to implement the pagination and uh, then we will uh, do the other things okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query any doubt then please add in the comment section okay and please stay tuned with the code artisan lab and also follow me on github instagram facebook okay uh, I'm not regularly updating the uh, Facebook or Instagram, but I'm regularly updating the GitHub. So please try to follow me on GitHub. Okay. And also support my Razorpay or PayPal. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video.